Welcome! In this video, you'll learn how to create, test, and send a list email from Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, formerly known as Pardot. We'll cover the essentials, including choosing the right email send type, selecting the optimal email builder, and preparing to send your email. Let's get started. First, let's discuss the three different ways you can send emails from account engagement. Our first option, and the one we'll be focusing on today, is list emails. These are one-off emails sent to a list of prospects. They can be sent manually, scheduled for a future date, or if you have an advanced or hyper edition of account engagement, you can use Einstein send time optimization to let AI determine the optimal send time for each prospect on the list. These types of emails are ideal for ad hoc or time sensitive sends, like an invite to an event or a monthly newsletter. Our next option is an automated email. These are pre-built emails that are sent automatically when a prospect completes a specific action or meets set criteria. For example, a confirmation email when a prospect signs up for an event via a form or a happy birthday email personalized for each prospect. Our final option is a one-to-one -one email. This email type is best suited for individual communications with a single prospect and can be sent from the prospect, lead, or contact record. Once you've settled on a send type, the next step is to choose the email builder experience. Account engagement has two different email builders to choose from. First, we have the classic email builder. This builder is best suited for more custom or code heavy designs. It is a what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG builder that also supports HTML designs. The second builder is the enhanced email builder, sometimes called the lightning email builder. This builder is best suited for straightforward, low-code email designs. It is a drag-and-drop builder and creates automatically responsive emails. Remember, once you start building, that email can only be edited in the chosen builder going forward. It cannot be edited in the other builder experience. Next, decide if you want to start building from scratch or use an email template. If an email is likely to be sent again, or a similar email will be needed in the future, Consider creating a reusable email template to speed up the creation process. This email template can be fully built out or just a shell with your company branding. Using a template enhances productivity and ensures a consistent, professional look across all emails. Before diving into email creation, it's essential to prepare your account. First, ensure your email sending domain and branded tracker domain are authenticated in account engagement for optimal email deliverability and prospect experience. These are the domains your prospects see as the sender of the email and in your tracked links. Second, set up a branded email preference center and or an unsubscribe page. These pages allow prospects to manage their email preferences and easily unsubscribe either from individual mailing lists or from all marketing emails. Including an unsubscribe mechanism is also required under account engagement's permission-based marketing policy and by many compliance legislations. Next, and only if applicable, warm up your dedicated IP. Warming up an IP involves gradually increasing email sending volume to establish a positive sender reputation and ensure optimal email deliverability and inbox placement. Remember, this is not a once-off activity. Once IP warming is complete, you must maintain those consistently high levels. And finally, consider how your account is being organized. Putting in place organizational best practices such as naming conventions, a folder structure, and a campaign structure will boost productivity, enhance ease of use, and facilitate more accurate ROI reporting. Now that your account is ready, the next step is to prepare the supporting assets and information you'll use when building the email. Consider what fields you have access to and how they could be used to personalize the email or segment your prospects into lists. Are these fields consistently populated and up to date or should they be audited first? Do you have an appropriate recipient list or lists available? And if not, how will you create it? Will you require a suppression list as well? Opt for a dynamic list for a self-maintaining criteria-based list or a static list to add and remove prospects manually or using automations. Is there an existing campaign for this marketing initiative? Or do you need to create a campaign to assign this email to? Assigning a list email to a campaign enhances ROI reporting 
and asset management. And finally, determine if the list email is operational or marketing. Operational emails are for transactional sends like invoices or terms of service changes, while a marketing email would be for promotional sends such as event invites or product update announcements. Now, let's jump into a demo to see these concepts in action by creating, testing, and sending an event invite email using the Enhanced Email Builder. First, we'll start by opening the Email Content tab and then click on New. When the pop-up appears, we give the new email content record an internal name. Because this is a common email type for our imaginary marketer, we select our pre-built email template. Then, we click Save. When the email content record loads, we click on Edit in Builder, and then update and complete the email. Let's review the text to make sure it's all still up to date. That all looks good. Now let's add a personalized greeting. Click beside hello, then click on merge fields and search for first name in the recipient tab. Select it and click insert. We already have an unsubscribe link in this email, but let's add our main email preference center link too. So prospects have the option to opt out of individual lists as well as globally. We type in click here to manage your email preferences, then highlight click here, click our hyperlink button, and paste in our HML tag. Once we're satisfied, we click on save and go back to the email content record. To ensure accessibility and reach, let's add a text version of the email too. We click on edit, then review the subject line, and then click on sync from HTML under the text body box. This will pull across the text from the HTML version. We tidy up the formatting and then click on save. Now let's test the email to make sure we're happy with how it'll appear for prospects in their inbox. First, we test our personalization using preview as a prospect. We click on preview as select a prospect from the drop-down list and can see the first name personalization is working. Next, we click on test and send a copy of the HTML and text version of the email to our test list to confirm the email looks good in our inbox and the tracked links are working correctly. Once we're satisfied with our tests, let's send this as a marketing email. We click on send, then on marketing and next. Then we fill in our campaign, recipient list and sender information. We have a few primary sender options here. We can set it to be a specific email using general user or specific user, or we can have the sender dynamically change based on the prospect using assigned user or account owner. If we choose assigned user or account owner, we will also have to include an alternate sender option as not all prospects will have an assigned user or account. As this is a list email, we also have the option to set completion actions. These actions will fire when a prospect engages with the email. This option is not available with automated email sends. In this case, we'll add a completion action to add a prospect to our annual customer conference campaign and mark their campaign member status as responded if they click a link in the email. We want this email to go out right away, so we click on send now. And there you have it, our list email has been sent. Now that you know how to send an email, let's quickly explore the reporting options and account engagement to understand the success of your send. First, we have the out-of-the-box email report options in account engagement. These email reports will give you a deep insight into the performance of individual emails showing both high-level metrics and the list of prospects behind those metrics. Next, we have the engagement history family of features in Salesforce. Use engagement history to see the high-level email performance at both the email and campaign levels. With engagement history, you have several out-of-the-box performance monitoring features and can also create custom reports. And finally, we have B2B Marketing Analytics, or B2BMA for short. This is Account Engagement's reporting app in CRM Analytics. It will allow you to dive deeper into your email data, creating advanced visualizations and comprehensive reports, to optimize your email marketing strategies. To learn more about reporting with account engagement, check out the Implement Account Engagement Reporting Overview webinar. You should now have a solid understanding of how to create, test, and send a list email from account engagement. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.